welcome back to snippet coder and we are back with another video and this video we will start a new series on grocery flutter app using woocommerce as a backend in the whole series we will learn about how to set up store how to create woocommerce api and then consuming the api in the flutter app and we will build a complete grocery app using the woocommerce api so in this video we will learn about how to set up woocommerce store setup and I am very excited to start this series as I have received so many requests to start this type of series. So before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, subscribe the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Thank you. So this is the WooCommerce website. So we can create any type of e-commerce application web app website by using that WooCommerce plugin and for using that we should ensure that we having that wordpress install in our website and uh, and after installing the wordpress we have to install the plugin and we have to find here the plugin that is woocommerce then we have to go to that popular tab and here we will get that plugin so this is the plugin so i have already installed the plugin i will just activate the plugin and i will show that how to set up that store so i will activate the plugin here so plugin has been activated So from here we have to uh, set up that our store and all I will show you so now here we have to provide the address and all and then we will uh, click on continue button So now here it will ask us that for what type of industry we have to uh, create the store and here uh, we are just creating the grocery app. So we will click on that food and drink. So we will click here continue here. So here we are doing the physical product. So we will click on that physical products. So there are other option also like downloadable products and subscription memberships and other bookings bundle customized product and all but here we are just using that physical product so we will check mark that physical product now we will click on that continue it will ask us that how many product do you plan to display so i'm just taking as a one to ten so it's also asked that currently selling elsewhere also we will click no here then we will click on continue here so now it will ask for the themes and all so we can click any of that theme so we will click on the free theme and from here we will choose this theme storefront theme is basically used for that uh, creating the website and all but we are not covering that website part so we are just creating the app part so just for checking that the product is set up or not correctly so for that purpose I am just using a theme and we can side by side check that thing also so theme has been successfully uh, activated so these are the options for that jetpack and woocommerce service uh, so we are not requiring anything because we are just doing the app, app part so we'll click on the no thanks button so now the store has been set up so we can also set up the payments over here if we click here and we can set up the payments here we can also set up the stripe payment and paypal and also we can enable that cash on delivery also and direct bank transfer is also available and so we can also add other payment gateway also by using third party plugins and all 
so right now we are not covering that part we will do that later on so here we can also set up the tax rates and all uh, as per that uh, country tax rates we can configure here so from here we can also set up the shipping also we can define the shipping cost and all and we can also customize that uh, store and uh, that is for the website and all we can create the home page and we can upload the logo then we can uh, set any store notice and all so from here we can add the products we will go to that products tab and from here we will click on all products so here i have already added some product so i will show you by adding more products here so for adding the product i will click on that add new so here we will add the product name so we are adding so we are poha, to, uh, poha 400 grams and in the description also we will add the same and here from here we can add the categories so we are adding it in the breakfast category so category has been added and in the journal we can add the price uh, for the regular price if we put something like uh, 60 and we are selling it for 50 so 10 will be uh, this one will be shown as a strike out as a um, sales out price and uh, from here we can also maintain the inventory also and we can also add the sq stock keeping units so we are using this one and uh, we can also enable that stock management as a product level suppose if if i mention that stock quantity is 10 and here also we can allow or disallow that back orders and here for the low stock threshold if uh, that will be 2 it will give us some message and all and we can also link the products as a link product here we can also add uh, uh, you can see that attributes also so in the product short description i am using the same text so from here we can add that images of the product So we will drop drop that image file over here and we will set the product image so now that product image has been added so from here we can preview it and we can also save it draft or we can publish it So now if I click on the preview button, it will show me how it will look in that uh, browser. So here that product is coming and here that uh, product name and here we are getting that regular price and here we are getting the sale price and this is the description, short description and here it's showing that uh, 10 in stock and here we are getting the sq and category we are getting here breakfast and here we are getting the description also so in the same way we will add some more products also so now here i will go to that product tabs 
so now here you will see that two products so we are getting two products here so now we will add some more product and we will name it as a maggi pasta and i am making uh, I, <clears throat> in the description i am using the same text and we are in the category i am adding as a breakfast so in the price i am mentioning 30 and in the sale price i am saying 25 so in the link product uh, upsell is that those product which will be shown in the uh, when we are do, uh, we are in the product page and uh, it will show as a recommendation like this way uh, you may also like this product and uh, cross sell is a product uh, which will come uh, when we are in a cart and it will say like you may be interested in those product also so here we can add those uh, link product also so here i am getting that lychee tea product so i am linking that product here so now i will add the product image also so now i will click on that save draft so if i click on that preview so here i am getting that product that that is maggi pasta and here in the link product i am getting those product also which are linked with that product so now i click on that publish and that product will publish over there so now if i go to the shop i will see two product because these product are the product which i published in the website and the other product i have not yet published so that's why those product in a draft and these two products are in a publish uh, so that's why showing in the website also so from here we can also click add to cart and the cart will be updated so here from here we can also click on the view cart and we can see here that cart and also we can do the proceed checkout also so that's all in this small video about an introduction of what we are going to start in that uh, series and uh, this is how we will set up that store and in the next video we will cover that api and all and we will see that how we we can generate the api from these product and from by using uh, that uh, inbuilt uh, tech uh, inbuilt api setup of that woocommerce and uh, by using that we will create the api and after that we will integrate those api in our flutter application so i hope you like the introduction of that uh, series so don't forget to subscribe to the channel like comment share so that i will be motivated more and we i will do that more and more video on the series thank you